Radio Rahim here with Michael Katsidis, the great. We're here in Hollywood at Justin Fortune, Fortune Gym. First of all, talk to me about how you ended up training here in Hollywood with Justin Fortune. Uh, well, I've known Justin for a fair while. Um, and, you know, like he's from Australia, so we roll together well. You know, we mesh well and, uh, you know, I turned up here in L.A. and this is, I'm living my dream. You know, I'm living here now and uh, look, well, I'm made in Australia, but living my dream here in America. Now, you're made in Australia, but you come in, you know, representing your Greek heritage. Well, where's Michael Katsidis from? Where are you representing, Australia or the Greeks? <laughs> I represent myself. Uh, I'm half Greek and I'm half Australian, so look, I'm proud of my heritage and I wear that. So. <laughs> We've seen that tattoo on your back. You can show them the tattoo on your back. Now what is that? Yeah, people. That's the son of Virginia, baby. It's the son of Virginia. <laughs> now, Michael, these past couple of years, they've been somewhat tough for you. Face uh, personal challenges, challenges in the ring. Uh, talk to me about this transition. It seems like you're looking to make some steps forward in your career, make some changes in your yeah, corner. Yeah. Uh, talk to me about that. Look, um, it's very important that I fight at Junior Worldweight now. I've, I've really been starving for a long time. Um, and now, like, I'm very fortunate, very thankful. I can do what I, what, what I love doing. And um, I have Justin Fortune here. He's making the final adjustments that I need at this stage in my career. I'm in the, I'm in the final phase, and uh, it's very important this next move I make. And you know, I feel like I'm strong again, and I can fight this weight. So, look, no promises, but this next fight that I have is the one where I've got to make a statement. So, uh, Friday 13th is when it's going to happen. Now, the American fans, they love you, and they don't always love uh, foreign fighters, but you've won them over with your, with your battles, with the type of fights that you fight. But the problem has been that when you fight those elite fighters, the Marquez, uh, even the Guerreros, you haven't been able to quite bridge that gap. Uh, what are you working on to be able to fight the elite fighters and take away the victory? That, that's right. There's a fine line between winning and losing those fights. And every one of those fights, look, I had Marquez down. I mean, there's, there's been, there's not one of those fights where I could have almost won it, but look, that's not good enough. So now, that's why I reiterate, it's so important that I have these final adjustments. Um, instead of just being that fighter that just keeps on coming forward and standing in front of them, that's not gonna happen anymore. Um, I'm not an open book. I'm gonna show them something different, and let's hope I can pull that out come Friday 13th. So um, I really believe I can do it now. With this fight game, there are, everyone's a warrior. You have to have bravery and heart to step in the ring in the first place, but you show an exceptional amount of heart. Uh, talk to me about what's going through your mind when you're facing adversity, you're in the ring, you're slugging it out. How, what, what motivates you to keep going? What do you tap into? Well, look, I love fighting. I, th I, like, I love that. And uh, look, that, that's what I do. And uh, look, let's just say, like, I don't do things in halves. Um, but look, I, that's all well and good, being a warrior. But I want to win. And uh, that's the most important thing. I, I want to get that decision. I want to get that result. And, uh, and, and that's what I'm here doing. I'm here. I'm living in America. I'm not halfway across the world. I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm working amongst. I'm training with the best, inspiring with the best. And uh, th that's going to be, you know, the deciding factor in winning this next fight. Now, these last two years, like I said, they've been transitional. You're in your 30s now. You have to start looking at legacy, career, what you want to accomplish in this sport before you walk away. Yes. What is that? Well, look, I want to win my third world title. Um, you know, this is the this is the next step now. Uh, look, I just love doing what I do. Like I'm 31 now, so you know, and the the guys, the best guys in my division, like the you know, like the Pacquiao, the Marquez. He's 39. Pacquiao, I think, he's 35. You know, and uh, you look, I have a few years, you know, just doing what I do. And uh, look, I, I'm still youthful, I believe so. And uh, look, like I said, this next fight's very important, and um, I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm just going to do the work, and then people can can um, make that decision themselves. This next next fight is going to be important to see the kind of decisions that you've made in the camp and the kind of adjustments. Assuming that you, you tackle that challenge, you come away victorious, who are you targeting? You've got to have somebody in your sights that you'd like to get on the world stage again and prove that Michael Katsidis is not just a contender but a champion. Look, seeing that the fashion is everyone's moved up in weight and it's just fortunate now at this age, I'm up in weight now as well. Look, you got, you've got, you look, realistic fights out there are Marquez, uh, are Pacquiao with a couple wins. Look, it, there's, there's so much out there for me and uh, all I've got to do is, is um, get a couple of results now and um, I'm going to be in there with these guys again and it's time for me to, to uh, make it happen.
when it's said and done, and that won't be for some time, but when it is, you seem to be carrying not only the Greeks on your back, but your Australian fans love you to death. When you walk out of that ring for the last time, what would you want people to say about Michael Cassis? How would you want to be remembered in this game? What a hell of a fighter. You know, like a guy that went in and no matter, with all odds stacked against him, he just got in and he had to go to give it his best. He came, he saw, and he conquered. <laughs> that's how I wanted to be. I'm sure that's how it will be. Michael Cassis, it's a pleasure. Radio Raheem with Michael Cassis, the great at Fortune Gym with Justin Fortune.